Welcome back to my channel. If you are an avid viewer of the hair growth community here on YouTube, I'm sure that you've heard of rice water. So rice water is supposed to be the number one best hair growth treatment. And today I'm gonna be spilling all the tea on rice water. I'm gonna be telling you the only way that you should be making rice water and the only way that you should be using rice water. Before we get into this video, if you guys like these types of hair growth and hair care videos, make sure you subscribe to my channel Channel, as well as turn on bell notifications so you can be notified when I post future hair videos. So first, I need to give credit where credit is due. This video was inspired by the Yao women of the village Huanglo in China. Their hair is incredibly long. It's super healthy, super shiny, and yes, you guessed it, they rinse and wash their hair with fermented rice water. Okay, so I'm just gonna jump right into the recipe because I know that that's why you guys are all here. So you're first gonna wanna take between a half a cup to a full cup of rice, and you're gonna wanna put it in a bowl. Also, you can use any rice that you want. You can use white rice, brown rice, basmati rice, jasmine rice. So now you're gonna rinse the rice. Now I do this two times. I just pour some water into the bowl of rice and I gently scrub the rice and this helps to get all of the dirt and impurities off of the rice before we actually start to make the rice water. Okay, so once you've rinsed it, you want to of course drain the dirty rice water out of the bowl and now you're going to take some sort of sealed container. So I like to use mason jars, but if you don't happen to have mason jars at home, you can use like a Tupperware container of some sort as long as the cover is sealed tightly it's totally fine so now I start by carefully transferring the rice from the bowl into the mason jar so as you guys can see at first I'm using a spoon so if you have a funnel that would make this process a lot easier but it's totally not necessary so then you want to fill up the jar with water so I usually fill the jar up three-fourths of the way with water So then you wanna close the lid tightly and then you wanna shake the rice water a lot and this is gonna help all of the nutrients, vitamins, and minerals get out of the rice and into the water. So rice water is rich in antioxidants, minerals, vitamin B and E, amino acids, and inositol. So inositol is really one of the most important aspects of rice water. It's super important because it helps to repair damaged hair while also helping to expedite the hair growth process. Now the next step is crucial, super important, so make sure you're paying attention. From this point on, you can either use plain rice water or you can use fermented rice water. So by using plain rice water, you would just use the water straight up in the jar. Right now, you just transfer it into another container. You take a shower and rinse your hair with it. If you want to use fermented rice water, you would let the rice water sit on your counter for 12 to 24 hours, and then you would use the rice water as a hair rinse. So unless you are super impatient, I highly recommend you to use fermented rice water for numerous reasons. So the process of fermentation helps to enhance the nutrients in the rice water so that when you end up using it as a rinse, the rice water itself is just going to be a lot more beneficial for your hair. Fermented rice water also contains patera, which is a type of yeast. Patera essentially helps with cell rejuvenation of your scalp and hair. Now, even though fermented rice water is a lot more beneficial for your hair, it does smell a little bit funky. I have found that if I use jasmine rice, it doesn't smell nearly as bad as if I use just straight up white rice. So if you have some jasmine rice at home, I would highly recommend you to use that. If you don't, you can also use orange peels or essential oils. That's totally fine to add into your rice water just to mask the stinky smell. Okay, so fast forward 24 hours from now and the rice water is ready to go. So now I'm gonna transfer the rice water into a spray bottle. Oh 
gosh, I'm getting really out of breath here. Okay, so now for how to actually use the rice water rinse. So this is the part that I feel like people get confused on and it's one of the main reasons why I wanted to make this video because I was doing the rice water rinse all wrong before and I will explain that in a second. But essentially, before you use rice water, you want to wash your hair. From trial and error, I have found that shampooing and conditioning before rice water is a no-no. Shampoo and rice water together have just really dried out my hair. It is definitely preferred to use a co-wash, a conditioner, and then the rice water. So first I use a co-wash, I use the As I Am Coconut Co-wash, then I move on to my conditioner, I use the Not Your Mother's Naturals conditioner, let that sit in my hair for five minutes, rinse it out, and now I'm good to go for the rice water rinse. So for the rinse, first I start by sectioning my hair. So I go section by section, and first I focus on the roots of my hair. So I take my spray bottle, I spray the roots, and then I move on to the hair shaft and I spray that, and then I massage my scalp to ensure that all of the rice water is getting absorbed by my hair follicle, my scalp, and my hair itself. Also, massaging your scalp like that helps to increase circulation, which is also going to help your hair to grow faster. So I then repeat this all throughout my hair until I've covered every single strand of hair. And then I take the remaining rice water and I slowly pour it on my hair. So at this point, the question is, do you leave it in your hair or do you wash it out? What I found that works for me is somewhere in the middle. So I basically leave it in my hair for 15 minutes after I have rinsed it all through my hair. Just leaving it in my hair straight up, not rinsing it out at all until my next wash actually is too much for my hair. Please don't underestimate the power of rice water. It is extremely intense. I mean, how do you think the Yao women have gotten their hair that long? So once 15 minutes is up, then I gently and quickly rinse the rice water out. So I do this so that I don't fully rinse it out, but just enough so that it doesn't irritate my hair, if that makes sense. You can just finish up with your regular hair care routine, whatever that means for you. I would recommend to not use heat because that's not good for your hair, but anything else that you typically do, you can just continue from there. So now for the question of how often should you be using rice water? So this is a huge question, and for some reason, I really was not able to find a definitive answer. So I wanna give you guys watching this video my straight up response. I use rice water every two to three weeks. And I know some of you guys watching this may think, wow, that's nothing. But as I said, please do not underestimate the power of rice water. It is an extremely strong hair growth treatment. Now I can recommend that frequency for everyone watching this video as a general rule of thumb. But what I really wanna say is that the frequency with which you use rice water is going to solely depend on how your hair responds to it. So if your hair is completely unbothered by rice water, you're literally able to use it every single day and nothing bad happens to your hair, then by all means do that. And if you happen to have super low porosity hair, then maybe once a month would be good for you. Okay, so I really hope this video was helpful. I wanted to dispel all rumors about rice water that were out there. Yeah, I hope that this video gave you the full 411 on the truth about rice water. So if you guys would like to see a video where I show you how to use aloe vera for hair growth, I will put that video right here. If you would like to see a video where I used castor oil for hair growth, I'll put that video right here. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I love all of you and I will talk to you guys next time.